hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in first of all before i go into today's video i just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this year for literally sticking with me through this journey for those who have joined on the way and the new subscribers i just want to say thank you and welcome to the family so you guys who have been following the channel for a while know that last year in 2020 i basically did a video where i shared 20 things that i learned from 2020 and I think I'm actually going to go back and watch that video just to remind myself of those lessons. But one thing that I'm very big on is every year just kind of reflecting and seeing what that year taught us, what that year taught me. So, yeah, so as usual, I just kind of sat down. Actually, what I did was as the year was going on, as some of these lessons were coming up, I was writing them down. And now today I'm going to share 10 of those key lessons that I think are very important and are lessons that I'm taking into 2022 <laughs> and I'm hoping that it will encourage some people as well to also reflect on the things that they learned this year whether that's about themselves or whether that's just about life and also for you to share some of your lessons in the comments section below so I'll be sharing 10 of these lessons I hope that they help someone they bless someone and just get you thinking as we kind of just go to the end of this year and go into the new year 2022 guys honestly listen can we just talk about 2021 for like two seconds <laughs> i feel like 2021 was the year that i thought okay 2020 was somehow 2021 was gonna recover for 2020 but 2021 came with its own right but to be honest i think that the lessons that came out of 2021 were very vital so even though 2021 was an interesting year, we still thank God regardless. So let's get right into it. I've got my notes, so I'm just going to be reading from my notes. So the first thing that 2021 taught me or reminded me of or was all about for me was gratitude. So I think 2021 really just, it taught me to appreciate the little things, right? So I feel like sometimes it's so easy to just go through life and have certain things and sometimes take it for granted. And I think I might have even mentioned this in my 2020 video, but I think 2020 reminded me again of how important it is for us to not take those little things for granted. Even life, I feel like sometimes it's so easy to take life for granted. And I know in the past, I've definitely taken life for granted, but this year really just taught me, showed me that life is actually a gift and just reminded me how much I need to appreciate it. And I think that it really just kind of, helped me to really appreciate the basics of life or what we would consider to be the basics so just even having food to eat having clothes to wear having a roof over your head sometimes we just see these things as basic or these things as oh yeah it's not that deep but for me it reminded me that when we have these three things it's actually a privilege and we shouldn't take it for granted so there's a scripture matthew 6 which talks about not to worry about what we will eat what we'll wear because god knows our needs and i think just in line with me just being more grateful for the things that I do have, I think that it just showed me that God knows what I need in every season of my life. So 2021, God knew what I needed and he provided for what I needed. It might not have involved everything that I desired or everything that I thought I needed, but the truth is that God knew what I needed. And I think that for me, that just gave me some comfort to just remind me that God knows what you need so when you need certain things in your life then God will bring those things and yeah I hope that's a lesson to someone as well and a reminder that God knows our needs and when it's time for those needs to be fulfilled then God will definitely bring those things so yeah number one was to just teach me or remind me about the importance of gratitude even for the things that we consider the little things okay the second lesson for me for 2021 which is kind of similar to the first lesson was in relation to contentment so i feel like gratitude and contentment actually come quite well together now contentment is not not desiring more obviously yes we might desire more in life we want to do better we want to get more things by the grace of god we want to flourish we want to walk in our purpose but being content in each season 2021 definitely taught me how important that is and kind of in line with that as well was kind of just me learning about the importance of running away from greed and i know it's so easy to say that oh yeah i'm not greedy how can i be greedy i'll never be greedy but i literally saw it with my own two eyes people who literally were chasing after things chasing after money wealth and it kind of just ending in destruction which is just so sad to see 
and I think it was a key lesson for me just seeing that with my own two eyes that do you know what greed actually doesn't lead us to anything fulfilling in life that when we're not content and we constantly want more we want more we want more we're not happy with what we have we're always just going to be chasing for more and more things so 2021 definitely taught me that don't be greedy be content with what you have and kind of like in a way accept the law accept what god gives you in life and it's actually something that one of my sisters said to me when we were having a conversation and she was like in this life you know it's just so important to just be grateful for whatever it is that god gives you in this life number three was that life is to be enjoyed and i already knew this because i'm you know i feel like life should be enjoyed and i'm always about that but I also feel like 2021 reminded me of being intentional about enjoying life. So I think with the way that 2020, 2021 has gone, obviously it might not be for everyone, but for most people, I would say that it was probably quite challenging. But I feel like it taught me to just be intentional about saying, despite the way the year may be, despite the way everything may be happening in the world, doesn't mean that we can't still enjoy ourselves. So I think it just kind of got me back to that point of just, asking myself okay what are the things that i enjoy doing and then being intentional about doing those things and yeah it was a good lesson another thing as well actually is that you don't have to wait for people to enjoy and obviously yes we spend time with friends spend time with family but 2021 also taught me to enjoy my own company even more and to spend time with myself do things that i enjoy as well so i did a video about my solo dinner and going to the theatre by myself so again like life is to be enjoyed and for example we were in lockdown at a certain point of this year I think but it doesn't mean that we can't find things to enjoy in this life okay number four is kind of similar to number three again however this is that happiness is a choice again I feel like with the way 2020 went 2021 went it's so easy to just be in sadness <laughs> it's so easy to just not be happy it's so easy to just say that well there's nothing to be happy about and i think 2021 really taught me that and i knew this before but it really re-emphasized it to me that our happiness is not in the things that we have right so yes we have things that can make us happy that can bring happiness but having true happiness is really happiness from within and i think that's one thing that 2021 reminded me of that when we just take that time to really get true happiness from within even when things around us may not be looking right when it may not be looking perfect we can still choose to be happy we can still choose to be in joy and i feel like there's people in this life that for example people are desiring all the things they have they may have all the things people in this life want yet they're not happy like we always hear about celebrities who unfortunately they might you know do things that are quite shocking but when we look at it it just shows that you can have all the things in this life you can have all the money all the wealth all the things that people desire all the people around you but yet you're not happy and there's some people that even have so many people around them but they still feel like they're alone so 2021 really taught me to just really find that happiness within and to allow that happiness to flow from the inside out number five thing was that god's grace is sufficient and i feel like obviously we probably know this but sometimes when you need that grace and you need that strength then it kind of just shows you a different aspect. It's like the scripture becomes life to you. So for me, I've always heard of the scripture, God's grace is sufficient that in your weakness, that God is strong and he gives you his strength. But I feel like it became so real to me 2021. And it just kind of taught me as well that a lot of us are actually more stronger than we think we are. Like being able to go through a pandemic, being able to get through 2020, get through 2021, is actually a big deal. And I feel like to the glory of God, we should actually give him glory for that and also give it to ourselves for actually making it through some tough times some difficult times so yeah that was the other lesson that 2021 taught me that god's grace is sufficient okay number six another important one so we always tend to look at the year and we look at it from january to december because obviously that's just the way the year goes right 12 months but i feel like one thing that 2021 just taught me was that although it's important for us to see years and to see our life in years but i think it's also important for us to understand the season so i might be in a certain season and someone else is in a different season so just because we cross over into the new year 
some people's seasons may still be that season that they were in in 2021 whereas some people the new year signifies a new season for them so i think this year definitely taught me that although yes 2021 we stepped into a new year some people were still in the same season that they were in in 2020 and just the importance of again understanding your season so when you understand the season you're in you're able to do according to what you need to do for that specific season and that specific year so yeah we're going into 2020 too soon and you know for those that obviously want a change in season by the grace of god it will be a new season but for some people maybe they are in a good season already and it will be a continuation of that season so discerning the seasons i said this in the 2020 video is very very important and that was a lesson that i was reminded of again in 2021 okay so number seven was that journaling is bay oh my gosh so I feel like I've always journaled, to be honest, but I think that 2021, I definitely took journaling more intentional. Or I was more intentional with journaling. So I just love journaling, honestly. And I think 2021 just reminded me that, listen, girl, be intentional with your journaling because it does more good to you <laughs> than it does harm. It doesn't do any harm, to be honest. But yeah, just taking that time out to journal really, really helped me through 2021 and was just such a blessing that I definitely am so, so, so grateful for. And I've mentioned it a couple of times through my videos during this year. And I hope that those that maybe haven't started journaling kind of just pick up that practice. But it's also an amazing way for you to just get your thoughts down on paper. Because sometimes we have so many thoughts in our mind, so many things going on in our head. And it's just like, okay, I don't know how to put this all into a logical format. And just journaling and writing things down is so powerful. And then again, prayer journaling. There might be times where you want to pray and you just feel like, okay, I don't even know where to start from. I just have too much on my mind. Writing down your prayers or writing down a conversation to God is so powerful and then helps you to just get back into that place of prayer. And it's prayer in itself as well. Journaling, you can actually use journaling as a way to pray as well. Number eight thing was that 2021 taught me to just be. <laughs> now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a doer naturally. So doing naturally comes easy for me and 2021 I just feel like I was forced to just be to just be like to be present in the moment and to enjoy just being being Maria like literally enjoy being Maria rather than constantly doing 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 the things that I've maybe been called to do in this life so I think that was a powerful one for me that I'm definitely holding on to and taking into 2022 to just be like sometimes just be like it's not every day you have to do so number nine similar to the previous point number nine was i learned again just the importance of taking care of our inner man so it's kind of linked with the previous point um sometimes we're so focused on doing everything else on the outside that we forget the inside right so as long as the outside is looking good it doesn't really matter how the inside is looking but whenever i think about this the scenario that always comes into my mind or the analogy is always about a nice car so let's say there's a beautiful mercedes-benz <laughs> a white mercedes-benz and on the outside it's shiny it's got gloss and everything but then when you go into the inside of that car it's dirty it's messy it's smelly there's food left over it doesn't look like it's been cleaned for a very long time you're not going to want to be in that car you're not going to want to associate with that car even though the car looks beautiful on the outside so i feel like sometimes it can be the same thing when it comes to us that sometimes we ignore the inner side or that sometimes we ignore the inner man and we focus so much on the outer that when people come near when people now associate with us and they get to know us they realize that oh when this person opens their mouth i'm not quite sure this is someone i want to associate with because obviously character starts to come out as we start to open our mouth so i think this year just taught me that the outer man is so important but the inner man is even more important and when we focus on the inner man then things start to flow out into the outer man so it's like transformation right transformation starts from the inside and then it starts to flow out to the outside so that was definitely a key lesson for me for 2021 that focus on the inner man and the outer man will naturally flow from that it's not to say we ignore or neglect how we look on the outside or how things are on the outside of our lives but it's just a reminder that don't neglect the inner man basically and then number 10 which is the last but not the least was count your blessings count them one by one count your blessings see what god has done 
Count your blessings. Count them one by one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so yeah, that was number 10, which I think that it links very closely with number one, to be honest, on gratitude. But I think that it's been intentional with just counting your blessings. So one thing I always do at the end of the year is I go through my whole phone and I go through the pictures from January to December. And as I'm going through, it's like it's reminding me of the beautiful things, the beautiful memories that I created during that year. And I think that it's so important that we do that because sometimes we come to an end of the year and we think that that year has been absolutely terrible but when we start going through the memories we've created the pictures we took the people we met up with we actually realized that you know what i can count my blessings so i hope that has encouraged somebody and yeah it's kind of like ended on a nice positive note so on that note i just want to wish you guys a happy new year in advance i hope that you guys have lovely celebrations just thank God and just, yeah, literally count your blessings and just be grateful for what you have around you. And I'm wishing you guys a fruitful and prosperous 2022 in advance in the name of Jesus. So guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. Please like if this video was likable to you. <laughs> do share and also do comment below what your biggest and key lesson was for 2021. I look forward to reading it and I look forward to seeing you guys by the grace of God on the other side in 2022. Peace out and God bless guys. Love you guys.